Okay, I defined uh, basically where my painting is going to be, where the position of the hat is going to be and the shoulder, everything like that. Uh, so it's time right now to do something with the white parts in the face and in the shoulder, in, in, in the whole figure that I'm going to draw. Um, I'm going to use um, white paint for that, normal simple white paint. Uh, and I'm going to do it roughly again to see what, what it is. Um, underneath the eyes will be a white part if you ask me. What you see me doing is that I'm using white paint although it's not um, it's not gonna be completely over over painted you know and I use the background the red background um, not as a backup but more as something that that is there and the white paint is helping me out right now to, to de define what's gonna happen with the white parts of my uh, of my painting. This is the forehead um, these are the eyes, this is another eye, this is something that's coming down there, the lip, the under lip on the underside, it's going to be there, and uh, you know the ear is also in a, uh, in a position where it's noticeable, and top head, as you see I'm not paying any attention to my, my underpainting, I don't care about it at this point, something that's there and that I need to use, well, you know, I need to work with shoulder. Shoulder was a bit higher, so I used it like this. Just pretty rough painting on top of things. See what I what, what it gets me, you know. That's that's basically what I try to do. Yes, this is top of the eyelid. Something underneath there. It's gonna give me the direction. I'm not sure when I'm, st when I'm stopping or what it, what it is that makes me stop when I'm doing this. And at one point in time, I'm going to stop and say, "Okay, this is this is enough. I, I know where it stands." Take some, take a step back every now and then to look at it. You know, take a step back. Okay, cool. And we got the hand. The hand's doing this, as I told you. It's doing this, which means that we're going to see this part of the hand, that part, that that that. You see, basically, you see the four, three or four fingers. And you can see the thumb, depending on what position you choose. This is a position that's not that hard to do. So I'm going gonna, gonna to go with this, which means that this part is white. There's white, white. And you see the little fourth finger there. And you see the thumb. So this is basically the position that I'm going to use. So that's what I'm roughly going to paint here. Hand like this. No, it defines more and more what I'm trying to do within the painting. For me, this is enough at this point. See so it to the eyelids already, they're in there right now, and um, it's easy to have a, a, a the white of the eye um, painted at first because you're not gonna do it as white as, as really white is the eyes white, the white of the eyes, and that means that um, it's easy to have some sort of a background color in there that's already light so that you can paint over it in another face of the paint. Um, for a lot of people, it, this will be something that you say. And you say, well, you know, it's. I don't see anything. It doesn't look like anything yet. It's, uh, and I, I agree. It does not look like anything yet. But its foundation is the basis of where I'm gonna get to later on in this painting. 